Same thing here, though, is that Cacuan can play around those bubbles because if you hit here, you can get rid of the bubble in a lot of cases, right? Yeah. So we're already seeing the rush down in. Stylish dodge right off the bat into the throw from Max. Yeah, we've seen some stylish dodge standoffs where they're going back and forth and throwing the hit. Max Hev not going to waste any time on that and goes for the grab. Yeah, pressure is on here. Goes for the stand on. That costs about half of your bar to come out. And these range confirms this is what you're talking about. If the zoner can't get the juggle off of the bouncing OTG, the cross at the end. But look at the nail speed. Yeah, you see him going for that jump back heavy over and over and over, right? Just such a good tool to cover space. Sykes just slowly trying to sidestep through all these emerald flashes. And they're all individual textiles too. So there's tough to dodge as well. But you're not getting that dodge at the right timing. And there's a punish off of the dodge. Yeah, it calls out the burst though. Go throw part four coming out. One thing that's really important in this game that you see from both these players is they have picked assists that have two bursts. The blue diamond indicates your burst, and the pink circle indicates your attack as the assist. Right. And that's going to be the round one here going to Max. With a perfect, that's the longest perfect I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Max M was untouched at the point uh, where they had about a 20-30% life lead, and they cruised right through to win this first round. Starting our top laid off right. Yeah, and this matchup is already showing Kosaku's biggest weakness. While he does do a ton of damage, he is very stubby normal, whether he's in standoff or stand on mode, right? Mm -hmm. So he has to get really close in there to try and get that punish. Even that jumping didn't reach far enough. Gonna set up a trap as well, just to cover the space. Yeah, and another like tough thing to, to deal with about uh talking on Emerald Flash is you can't do a dash jump over it. So the, the <laughs> Gaining the distance is going to be really tough if they keep throwing those projectiles out. Yeah, I do kind of want to see Sykes throw out the stylish dodge. Instead of just going for the normal sidestep, that seems to be the best way to get in on heavy projectile characters, right? Because it allows you to act immediately after the dodge instead of the long recovery that the regular sidestep has. Right, and if they're not doing the stylish, that means they can react while things are going on and adjust their game plan accordingly. Yeah, you also saw Sykes tried to go for the stray cat, uh, stray cat projectile there, though, but it is one projectile going up against many projectiles with those emerald flashes, <laughs> so it immediately loses out. Completely outgunned. And you see the retreat from Max Hef. That's a double perfect game double one. Perfect. Wow. Very quick and just looking around too, <laughs> like, okay, hold on. <laughs> I like the suspense of it saying retired first and yeah. then perfect. It looks like grade S as well. That's uh, what else the you first get that? Grade S. <laughs> what else could you give two perfects? Max Sev delivering a statement in game one. Yeah, and it looks like Sykes was thinking about maybe swapping characters here, but opting to just go straight into it there with Kosaku yet again. Ooh, a little higher on that jump there, the pace one out. Oh, it gets the crumple on the very first hit of the standing heavy, but there's the burst right away. And that's something to watch out for, a standoff eight from Kosaku does a crumple. Yeah, but here we go, bomb loops. This is going to be a lot of damage. Look at Max's health bar. Okay, we'll go for the three, sets up a trap. Nice Silas dodge to escape. Yeah, that Oki is not real when Silas dodge is available. You need to make sure that you take that into account when you're going for pressure on wake up. Right. And Sykes a million ended that combo with three of the same attacks. That's a uh, mechanic that's universal to the game. If you hit one move three times in a combo, it automatically drops and resets. And there we go, trying to go for that jump in. Another thing to really note in this game is when you do a jump while running forward, you do get a short hop, similar to KOF, right? Yes. That is the only way you can get short hops in this game, and they only go forward. Otherwise, it is a full jump. But again, Sykes just trying to weather through this storm of zoning. And he's got the zoning assist, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jump back to see again. Is that the wall? <laughs> Playing face. And yeah, look at that guard gauge. About to get guard broken if he's not too careful, but there's the clean jump in. Immediately, Mista comes out to break it. And couldn't recover any guard gauge, so the next Emerald Splash broke it. Goes into the. Yeah, the climax. 20 meters. And that's going to be dead. One thing to know about this game in particular is super, whether they're level ones, level twos, or the full level threes, if you spend the level two with three bars, they do so much damage in this game. It is almost always worthwhile to end a combo with a super if you have the meter to do it. Right. And of course, you check the command list. Make sure you don't have a counter as your greedy Oh, but if you can't confirm it, cashing out is going to get you dividends for sure. Yeah, and Sykes hasn't even gotten a chance to spend any of his bar either. Right. 
It's just been a relentless barrage of emerald flashes and traps being set up. You can't even jump in on that. That's the scary part. If you try to run in and go for the short hop to get pressure in, that trap in front of Tacky is going to catch you in the air. Right, it turns into an active hit box. I believe it delivers multiple hits too. So it just allows <laughs> Tacky to go right back on the attack. Yeah, there we go. Gets the hard knockdown, sets up another trap. And yeah, Sykes is just having such a difficult time figuring out how to navigate this neutral. I really want to see a stylish dodge, right? You can do light dodge and down at the same time to activate a manual stylish dodge. And I just really want to see him try to do that to get in. Because the moment that he gets in, you see that Max immediately sends out the burst. Right. All of this zoning is buying enough time to recover that guard, that assist. You see the red, that means that they're unusable. So <laughs> every moment the Max 7 is just keeping them away. The meter's still building. And then once uh, <laughs> Sykes and gets in... And this is the break. opportunity. And no! they use both of their defensive usages, so these combos are going to be open for Sykes a million to cash out on. I want to see if Sykes can actually combo into Vice the Dust here to gain back some health. But no, just oh, in the middle of the combo, Mist is able to recover. I'm sure they use a double offense. They have one left. There's the confirm straight into. There we go. He bites the Dust. That's going to be enough to kill, actually. Yeah, that should be for sure. You know what it is, bites the Dust. Sure. A little celebration for Sykes a million. I'm on the board. Oh, no. Wait. No, There's... not quite enough. But he is going to get some health back here, so he's going to have the life lead. Back. But also you're sent full screen because it, it puts you back at the round start situation. Right. It's going to be very tough to get in. We've seen the difficulty that Sykes a million had in closing the distance. There's the jump in nice immediately. Throw. And the crowd roars. <laughs> the crowd doesn't want to see the landslide. <laughs> Neither do we. I'm enjoying the way this is going. Sykes a million. Could he be on the upswing? You see Emerald flashes though, but so, doing such a good job at just pushing out. Joe Throw coming in, gets the jump in. Silas dodge straight into the throw punish. And here's a fun fact. Sykes a million won the uh, first tournament at Evo back in July. Oh. Uh, went out in the uh, pre-build that had 15 characters and got a double with Jonathan. And now they're rocking Kosaku Kira here. There we go, trying to jump in again, putting themselves on the other side. Oh, tries to go for the low, the 2A there, but it whiffs, unfortunately, Max gets the confirm. And I like the differential really steep. Oh, trying to go for the guard break setup there. You see that you block one of Stray Cat's bubbles, it does half of your guard gauge. But comboing straight into the level two. It's a great part attack. Already pounding it out. They know how much damage this deals. Yeah. <laughs> and that is going to be game number one there. Retired. <laughs> retired. You're going to hear a lot of retired. Whereas on the other side, we're going to get the Diego Brando assist. Now, both of these, very different. One is a rushdown assist with multiple hits that holds you in block stun, whereas Dio Brando's is a counter assist. He comes out, right. he throws up a counter, and if the opponent hits it, you get a combo. Yep. In a way, serves his four defensive uses if you assist. Yeah, and Diablo, honestly, the, the closest thing I can compare him to from another fighting game character is, like, Slayer from Joe uh. here. He's got those dashes right where he teleports with the dashes. He does a ton of damage. That is his biggest aspect. He also has some unblockable too and some charge moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his hand almost notably, um, even as his assist, unblockable. Um, so you can't freeze. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, pun intended. It's head shop here. Yeah, look at the damage, Punk. It's absolutely crazy here so far. And, I mean, to be fair, it's against the Bird, who has very low health. But and see, the no, damage is real from Diabolo. No thank you. It's absolutely doing what we needed to see more from Kosaku last game. It is stylish dodge on all of these projectiles, right, so that you can <laughs> jump in. Do not let them get away with that zoning for free. I think Elon knew was uh, early, like I want to say week one of the game, uh, posted the high-low setup where he did the uh, icicle and then 2L. <laughs> you know, same time, high and low, really tough to do outside of stylish dodging. Um, and it's a knowledge check, which has been the, the running theme of this tournament. Yeah, and there we go, the stylish dodge to close out the first round. Very strong showing from No Thank You. And I got a lot of knowledge to gain, so <laughs> you, audience, and us, we're going to learn something tonight. Yeah, right now, no thank you is just running wild on Elon. Not getting much of a chance to hit. Oh, Silas dodging both the assist and touch off as well. Uh, 
As soon as I munch, but yes, that's the <laughs> kind of the line, the line in the sand. That final icicle freezes, um, and that sets up for juggle. And there we go. Gets the jump in, the hit. Trying to keep the pressure on. Great sidestep there, straight into the fly. Icicles around again, able to jump over the second icicle and get the punish, but calls out the first. Two-way pops up, which sets nicely into that hard heat attack. One more oh, big goes. icicle coming out, and there we go. Goldie's tied up. But Diablo is sitting here at max meter now. Actually grabs the attempt at the stylish dodge. Very nice call out there. Ooh, and there's a <laughs> icicle <laughs> alone. <laughs> Able to fly away from the stylish dodge. Really great maneuvering here from Elon. Right into the level one. Hit him. And no meter for the next one. So this is going to be Ooh. on a setup with steel that. Oh, we're activating. Here we go. We're going straight into Epitaph mode here for No Thank You. So what Epitaph mode does for King Crimson, or for Diablo, I should say, is any time that you hit him, he actually immediately stylish dodges. It's yep. a little bit of an insult. So once it's over, he does have a recovery period just like that that you saw. Yeah, kind of like how the pillar men, once they run down on their meter, uh, there's a, a moment of vulnerability. Oh, the stylish dodge on the assist call! And then the grab since uh, Diego's a, uh, a rush assist. Epitaph is activated again. And you saw Elon stop short. Didn't want to throw out a button, right? You did not want to give him that free stylish dodge and you didn't get that punish on you. Right. All you can do is grab or do a great or hard heat attack. That's the only way out of it. Oh, like there's punish. a great throw. Not quite enough to kill. Oh, oh and the PC! The Putsu All cancel. right. And game one going to Elon. Three attack buttons, very similar to a Roman cancel you see in Guilty Gear. For, for, so for the first time, All-Star Battle viewers, that is your way to uh, make safety unsafe. Exactly. Here we go, jumping straight into the next game. Diablo getting the first hit, but immediately the first is called. Once again, straight into the tick throw there off the 2A. And then I like how Elon pushes. <laughs> you can grab those. Yeah, nice. ooh. That's what you're seeing really frequently is you saw in the very last game too with Tank Win would be stylish dodge immediately into throw, right? It's so that you don't get caught into those stylish dodge wars. You just get a guaranteed knockdown and you get to start running the set one. Exactly. Going at the DO assist, but then gets hit by the ice people coming from below. There's the aerial dash. This is cross pressure. That's how uh, Elon's been using the Diego assist, and it's been working well. Landed them in winner's side of top eight. No thank you, he's been bum rushing with a Diablo Pseudo. Yeah, you need to get that hard knockdown before Epitaph runs out. And there it uh, is, the punish straight into the level one. And that is the downside of Epitaph, while it is a very strong, not dead. No, that, that was my worry. I didn't want to commit to saying it. And there is no chip damage in this game, but there it is. Tried to go for the stylish dodge, and if you do the manual one, you do have a little bit of a whiff recovery. The other option to do stylish dodge is to just do an instant block, blocking right. within a few frames of the move actually hitting you. Right. So you're just defending the stylish dodge. Does an auto sidestep and uh, sets you a little bit more positive than the opponent. This corner combo, though. Oh. Into the combo. Yeah, a little bit too much there. Drops right at the end. It's going to change it from ground. Oh, drops it. Gets the throw, and that's going to be the end of that round there. You, get, you don't get to enjoy the rumble mode that, all, <laughs> that long with that shot because of the health. No. <laughs> when the health meter is flashing red, that means the character has rumble mode. It increases their attack damage um, and uh, their HHD uh, increases. Oh, what a neutral dump there. Able to get the punish straight into the cancel. But unfortunately, drops the combo there and runs right into another icicle. And what you're seeing in a lot of those cases, when the screen flashes like black in the character poses, that is pressing three attack buttons and for a bar, it will actually cancel your hit, almost like a Roman cancel in Guilty Gear, right? right. So that you can exactly. continue the combo. Silas has an L on now. A little trying to scout for goals. <laughs> no thank you, guest. Oh, there's the jump over, trying to sandwich him, but it didn't work out quite well. Oh, three, even those icicles were trapped. That can... No, it didn't connect. 
Yeah, level one got blocked, so here comes the punish from Diablo. Depending on the round, no thank you, you close this out. No, oh. not gonna stand, but the overhead coming out. All right. This game's crazy. This game is nuts. We got a 1-1 one, one score right now, no thank you, evening up the set count. And the crowd is ringing along, <laughs> <laughs> along with oh, Dopio. <laughs> you love to see it. <laughs> Yeah. Set up your own meaties, move the court. <laughs> oh, there's a nice stylish dodge as well. Immediately calling out the burst, just wants to stay safe. And I love the way he sets up the ice pillar too, just to cover and not allow no thank you to rush in, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful jump over. Doesn't get the full confirm though, unfortunately. And one more thing just to note while we have, you know, early round. Um, when the stand goes out, even though it seems like Diablo is far away, that stand is vulnerable to the character. Yeah. So that's how um, the assist break knocked down No Thank You. Yeah, because remember, they share a same soul. Yes. <laughs> Damage that the stand takes reflects on the user. No and look at this combo with the kick grab right at the end and the OTG still not quite enough. Call the Odair to alone and did a retreating jump. Oh, and you can't block in the air, so it's the first attack button wins. And now we're at set point here for no thank you on our Heaven semifinals. Heaven bracket, also known as winners. We got hell on the losers, and we're gonna have the losers matches coming up next. Oh, what a stylish dodge there on the cross up attempt. Immediately flying back into the pillar, summoning the ice. Get the low on the 2A, Silas dodge on the assist coming through and is able to continue the combo afterwards, Funk. Wow, what a confirm there from Elon and a setup. Nice backdash, that's invulnerable. The DFO is still taking damage. GTI tosses up to the other side, but unfortunately the way that they're up against the wall, Diego, the, Diego assist ends up going through Diablo and pushing past him. Right, that second strike. Um, if you were playing as him, you need to a uh, Jesus piece to be able to do that follow-up, but the assist fails it naturally. All right, going for the Hail Mary epitaph here, trying to chase down, but Elon's <laughs> just going to fly away until he can get the punish. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, able to recover in time. You see, that's another reason why he's using Dio, Dio Brando part one, right? It's so that when he goes into the recovery, he can throw out Dio as a counter to protect him. Right. Some people are using it to uh, make their DC safe. Because there's a risk, like, you attack me, you're also catching this freeze. Here we go, final game, final round here between these two. In an incredible set so far. And a wild ride. Elon knew a first blood. No thank you. Riding the wave right now for the second game win. Oh, gets a cross up. Has a lot of meter to work with. Spends one to get the combo going. Oh, overhead. OTG then with the overhead as well. Rest. The gas board grab. Oh, gives the taunt as well. And one thing to note is that whenever you taunt your opponent while they're hard knockdown, you can only do it once per game. It takes away one of their bars and restands them instantly. So it sets up for some unblockable setups. Right. You need to confirm a combo or double cutter being sent out. Yeah, the enhanced bullet pair eats up some of those bubble ends. And remember, of course, oh. whole horse. Oh, centerfold. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Jay Kyle coming through. And the cross up nullifies that assist. The air chain beat. We get a nice confirm here. Hopefully into a hard knockdown. Absolutely. Oh, trying to go for the overhead there. Not going to quite work out. Now you have to hold this whole horse pressure. Says even my bullets are part of my stand. <laughs> yeah. And his natural dodges. That's the center both close. Just in case those bubbles be paid over time. Um, but it's an insurance policy in case Ooh, the <laughs> Bombay gets in. Hangman <laughs> comes out and lands. Yeah, just trying to play a bit of this tricky. Uh, that's, that's how Whole Horse is. He's a set play, a uh, tricky trap character that is also a zoner, right? Yeah. There we go, using the Haman to charge up some of that meter. That's the one thing about the Haman users. Because they don't have stands, when you use your stylish button, instead they charge up Haman, which charges up their meter, and they get access to EX attacks. Right. So instead of just using light, medium, heavy, you can also use the style button and get an enhanced version. 
Um, Caesar, for example, is uh, DP, 623S. It does a crumble. And there it was, Whips gets punished for it. Unfortunate. That means that Bombay is going to get a nice confirm here into a setup. And I love that using the EX kick to escape. Doesn't want to hold on to the set play. Oh, getting around the bullets as well. And Whole Horse with the running away. Unique backdash in this game. Covering East of the pieces. Throwing some good shots in this a game of attrition. 19 seconds left on the timer. Oh, and Mista coming through to take the round. And you don't see timeouts too often. <laughs> You're in danger. <laughs> oh, but there's the stylus dodge through the bullets, summoning the bubble cutter yet again. And bubble cutter is going to be the bread and butter of this matchup here for Mad Pog. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I took the names out. I think they're yeah, backwards. I think, <laughs> I think they're flipped. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. So Bombay is the one playing for So that actually makes sense considering they play Axel. All right. And still, you're settling for zoning. Comfortable on both sides. <laughs> These are the worst for the wear at the moment. All right, yeah. Just kind of dashing around here, trying to figure out how to get around. There's the stylish dodge. Dodge, dodge once again coming through. Oh, but Jagal accidentally messing up the combo there, getting the hard knockdown. Jump in there, gonna set up the lens, and throws instead of setting up for a mix. Cross up as well, straight into the crumple, full combo. Looking up. So 214 S is invincible on the startup. So, oh, immediately oh. going into the level one there. That would be enough to end the round. Don't go close. Oh, and punish the step. Oh, but it's still able to recover in time. That's all right. Maybe a meter and a half to be safe. Oh. I like the choice. All right, and Bombay gonna be able to tie this up in rounds here. Good sidestepping. Out comes Jotaro with the aura, aura assist. There's the throw. Jay got with the assist. Man, it's still just trying. You do have the option to try and do um, medium or heavy to throw some low ones. Because it'll go right under the bullet. But, I mean, the damage trade is still something Caesar doesn't want to take. Oh, and what a confirm here as well. Getting a nice little juggle. Should be able to set up. Yeah, right oh. to the bullet from behind. Sorry to be it. That's and there we go. Closing out game number one. Good stuff from Bombay. <laughs> oh, I could just check this out on the game. Yeah, gotta make Fix sure the hair is on, on point here. There we go. Jumping straight into the rematch now. Man. <laughs> really simple. It's hard to come up with a different game plan. Like, once you get zoomed out those projectiles, it's tough to go right back to the drawing board. Yeah, I mean, Caesar, Caesar isn't exactly a heavy rushdown character, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why you're not seeing him go in too hard. He kind of wants to avoid some of the bullets and harass with the bubbles until you can get that knockdown. But this time, Bombay is going to be able to get right in. Gets punished, though, immediately has to burst. And still standing means the Devil Lord can go in the attack. Oh, nice. Put them crouching. Great. Okay, so I did have it right. And that's that's why oh. I started saying the character names. I was like, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure they swapped. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whole Horse able to take that round. The Mad Pog is up 1-0. The Whole Horse is worse. All right, here we go with the gunshot again from the Emperor. Really trying to get whatever meter they can, super jumping, trying all the movement choices to find an opening. Blocking, not taking too much guard gauge. Again, you don't really get too much. Um, there's no major risk of a chip death or anything, even though we're not that far into the round. Yeah, both of them call out the first, so at the same exact time, so set back to neutral now. Punish that dodge. 
to get a nice home, fell out of it. Oh, wow. the J Guile actually hitting, not allowing him to get the kick. All right, there she goes. Gets hit nice. out of the air, unfortunately. Oh, solid tracking the aim that shot. Copy the battle button to redirect the bullet. Oh, she tries to use the kick to get in, but not going to quite work. Tries to go for a little bit of a cross up on the set play there. Nice good dodges here from Bombay. And it's all full screen 50s. <laughs> What's going to happen? Again, just trying to figure out a way to get in, but Madpog is doing such a good job utilizing these bullets and Jay Guile to keep Bombay out. There's the run up throw. Stylish dodge, no punish. Then the look out. Oh, tried to do a stylish and the grab punishes. Mad Pog has great potential to end this here. Oh, get the kick. Oh, oh, and just wake up with the very lockdown, uh, lockdown, excuse me. And otherwise, you're not going to be lacking all that. But we got the David Bowie here on deck. <laughs> That's fine. Level three, you can only really combo in reliably in very small situations. Mm -hmm. You have to get a really strong knockdown, uh, lockdown, excuse me. And otherwise, you're not going to be lacking all that. But we got the David Bowie here on deck. <laughs> That's fine. I'm happy we got to see it here. I'm in the outfit and everything. Let's go, girl. <laughs> no bias, no bias. <laughs> And you see right off the bat there, Barrel actually immediately went into stand on mode because stand on mode is where you're going to get the most reliable damage for Kosaka here. And here we go with some bomb loops. Misses the 2B pickup, unfortunately, was a little too late on it. Yeah, they cross themselves up, they punch in the wrong direction. <laughs> His B and B looks so read. funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, but there's the slicer. I like the use of light, you can combo off of that. Oh, a little, a little too far late. away for the bomb though. Yeah, heavy's a big juggle to cross through. And there we go. Gonna get a nice setup here as well afterwards. Yeah. Oh, it's for the teleport. Oh, oh He's teleporting the same side. Diablo. That's disgusting. Utilizing the <laughs> unblockable Diablo assist on the teleport. Just, I'm not even gonna mix you up. I'm gonna let Diablo do it. Oh, in the wall. Help me keep her on the side. Did not allow us to get cross up, but the damage is still piling up. Sunduel able to get round one. Those combos are like minimal input, but they're easily over 300. <laughs> but if they're otherwise like 358 to <laughs> Oh, see, and this is another problem. Kosaku, excuse me, Yoshikage keeps the same problem as Kosaku here. Stubby normals, right? That 2A does not reach very far, so trying to get these punishes with that 2A, but it's just not doing the work. Still has cooldown on the deal Brando assist. So Sun Duel is gonna exploit this. Are we gonna see a super possibly? Yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, drops it. That's really unfortunate. It's really common throw. for the character to fall when you do that level one. It, it makes you second guess it, but you still gotta go for those. Oh no, runs right into a big normal there though from Sun Duel. The round two perfect. Ending out game one. And there's the pose, too. I love the poses at the end. Pulling them straight from the panels of the manga. The fan service is so real in this game. <laughs> and it's gotten better since the uh, the age of the game, you know? It, the first one came out in 2012, 2013, so now we have voices from all the way up to part six. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and there's a nice put. Oh, no punish! He actually canceled it! That's crazy! All right, there we go. Explosion afterwards into the pickup. Another ref of the Aura Aura. Into super. No, unfortunately. Tried to go for another 2B there. Didn't quite work out. But look at the damage that came out from that as well. Yeah, the angle against the wall maybe would have been too slight. I think that's what pushed them away. If they were flush to that wall, it would have kept them close. Not a problem. Damage is about even. Are we going <laughs> to set up a coin after stomp? Stomp into coin? Absolutely. You have to hold this mix up. Oh, immediately sends out Diablo for the first, though. Now in cooldown, Sandula's gonna play it safe. 
And one, one advantage that you may notice for Cars as well, because he is considered under that vampire class, right? Mm -hmm. He may not be a vampire, he is a pillarman, but vampires and pillarmen both actually get recoverable life, recoverable right. great health that other characters do not get. Very few characters, um, including some others, like uh, Hermes does damage to himself that's recoverable. Yeah. But um, that's a trait exclusive to the Pillarman and Vampires for the most part. Uh, is that gray health, that white life. And just oh. like other games, if you get hit, you lose it all. So <laughs> you got to protect that. All right, there's the bomb coming off. Tries to go for the neutral jump, fakes out the neutral jump, and is able to get the 2A. Didn't hold off the burst. Reset still. Bring a little bit of space. 2A confirm there. Able to get a good juggle. Straight into a bomb. Absolutely. Pick up again. Into another rush punch. Are we going to get another super this time? This time they're staying close for sure. Yeah. No, oh, no! Combo went on too long that the super wasn't going to connect there. That's really oh. unfortunate. And that's a lot of damage off the table, too, because that super adds on a chunk right at the end. But... Another attempt. Oh, oh no, gosh. drops the 2B, unfortunately. But they get another chance at life here. Goes throws out the level one. Not gonna be enough to kill, but gonna be really close. Yeah, really gonna take what they can get, including that meter. Yeah, Send thank you for that meter, one. buddy. <laughs> Immediately into the coin, and he can detonate that coin manually anytime that he wants as well. He said, well, you can only have one active, so he's gonna have to worry oh, about multiple meters. Oh my god, what a drop in on the overhead, and the neutral jump! But Dio comes to save the day. They didn't get the 2 H that would have popped them back up. Sandula had an opportunity to try and even up the life. Still find a way in. Yeah, opens up arrow. Into Telef the teleport right behind you with the low. Has max meter as well. And there's that light slash pickup. Sandula landed it. Oh, this could be it. Yeah, goes right, right into the cheese. There it is. Look at that. The pose right at the end. Oh, and the little shimmy shake with the <laughs> hips, too, because he turned. <laughs> and good harassment here with the light and medium normal from Kira. And yeah. even if you block the bomb shop, you are still a bomb, meaning right. that Kira can detonate it at any time. Anything I touch. Nice throw. Toss the barrel out of the corner. But they run themselves right back into it. Oh, stylish dodge coming out, and there's the punish. 5M has so much reach that you can do that, and then the 5H steps cars forward, so it's kind of a <laughs> built-in course correct. Oh, goes for the neutral jump JH there. There's a light mode active. He's going to drain. Oh, he hit heat gauge over time. Yeah, let's see. Are they going to call it the burst from Diavolo? Not quite yet. And this damage is adding up. Oh, tries to go for the 2B. Drops it again. All right, there we go. The cancel. Into a nice combo here. Uh, a little early. Oh, sheer heart attack comes out. That's going to hit OTG. That's dead. That was three bar sheer heart attack. You're dead. No weakness! <laughs> no weakness! It's invincible! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it didn't run over. <laughs> oh, stomped on by the horses. The dramatic finish coming through. I like this. You, you see, like, hands in here. Like, <laughs> pile up into the screen with the horses stomp. And we get that volume cover pose as well, <laughs> Kira. <laughs> All right, and another final game situation. One all sun duel and barrel. This is loser side. This is to stay alive and not get seventh place. Great tech there. Another JH straight into the bomb confirms. We're going to get some loops. Let's see. Is he going to go for the TP this time? Does. Super going to hit? Oh, it, it actually lands this time. There we go. That is a lot of damage. Good God. A nice chunk of it's recoverable. The Sun Duel has to not get hit. This time is allowing them to recover it. So they get back and they were in rumble mode because so it put them under 30%. That means you're going to deal that increased damage as well. It's like DNF rules. Once you hit the threshold, you get that perk. <laughs> 
All right, able to keep the pressure on, just throws out the level one. He's going to get punished for it. Not quite a big punish, though. Unfortunate. A little too slow there to confirm afterwards. Does it again. Yeah, that jam a little early in the jump, so it will help Zero to recover. Oh, what a press out there. Could have gotten a little bit more, but they were in the air, so they teched out. Catches mm -hmm. the back dash with the bomb detonation. Two B-Lows there, and that's going to be the round for Barrel. Oh, oh no, no. Contest Curse! Hang on! Oh, <laughs> Dio comes and saves lives. Diavolo still in recovery, so... Actually, no, they still they have it. So they can, if oh. they need to. Oh, nice grab! Oh, he didn't believe! Broke the pressure up, they still live! Oh, we... Get the drive-by. That's going to catch. Walk in here. Yep. There you go. Really great reaction from Barrel. Now sitting at set point here in our Hell's Top 8. Both of them dash jumping at each other. Quick drive-by to start the match off. Real dynamic. <laughs> oh, catches yep. the back dash again with the bomb. That's something you always need to keep in mind when Kira hits you with that bomb, no matter what. Gets the OTG this time with the bomb. Ooh. The moment you leave the door stuff. <laughs> yeah, the, when those feet leave the ground, that detonation is coming out. He's gonna get the combo here. Detonation. Dash forward again. Barrel's been very consistent with these combos. They've dropped at different times, but into the sheer attack, it's not gonna hit, but oh no, my it's god, it's blockable! <laughs> <laughs> and he knows! Sundula knows as well! <laughs> so, the only way to avoid sheer heart attack... <laughs> That's the epitome of cool. <laughs> okay, called out the Joseph assist though to cover him. Already in trouble with the pressure. Bullets everywhere. Running away, there's the stylish dodge, immediately putting in some pressure. And like Sykes Samillion actually using the normal dodge as well, right? Not just relying on the stylish dodge, but you need to be careful with that. It has a lot of recovery. Right. And quite a few moves, you know, bracket, including grabs, interrupt those. All right, bomb loops coming out now. Misses the dashboard on the JM, unfortunate. And now Mad Talk gonna capitalize on this, enough to close it out. And jumps right into the guard throw. Take them all the way to the wall. All right, pressure is still on here. Calls out Jotro, but one 5B there. 5M coming out from Kira. Yeah, well, it feels like there's a lot of long, you know, pressure moments from Whole Horse. Not a lot of guard damage. So you can't wait there, but you definitely need to find a way out before it gets too late. Oh no, but Tech's out though from the recovery, so doesn't have to hold on to that OP there with the bomb rock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> be <careful> that. <laughs> gotta be aware of the puddle at all times because the hangman will come. Dashes through and barely slips by it. Jump in there. Alright, more bomb loops coming out now. Detonations. Gets a couple of the five Bs, oh. drops the rush punch though, unfortunate. But good call out there with the 2A. It's hard to just send it me. I mean, the recovery frame. Immediately running to stand right on top of the J Guile puddle. And it's just a freestyle button press when you're nearer to it. So I'm going to keep my skill loaded. Absolutely. Why not? That was kind of tricky, actually, because yeah. Jotro was covering the bullet moving forward. That's the Nintendo assist. <laughs> <laughs> block the whole screen. We saw a funny Valentine clip where just America blocked the screen. <laughs> you can do that with Jose 4 also with the rock showing up. You block the screen for the mix up. Oh, the point blank shot. If we got the dashboard into the pit, but calling out the burst immediately. Yeah, it seems like Sykes a Million's weakness right now is really just dealing with zoner characters while playing as Kosaku, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, that is no surprise. That is where Kosaku actually struggled. Like you said, 
um, really limited on the oh. range of their normal slash. <laughs> Jay Guile, though, coming through from behind, stopping the combo from even getting started. Back to the puddle, and it's a lure, too. You know that retreat. Um, because they have an input run, <laughs> you're like, okay, maybe now I can approach. It's like the million's getting stiff armed. Yeah, but there we go. JM straight into bites the dust. And that is one of the few reliable ways that Kosaku can actually combo into Bites the Dust. Is if he cancels the very first hit of the 5H, then it does like puts the opponent into a crumple stage. Right. Unavoidable. You can't move. You can't tech that. You just have to watch. I didn't even tell him anything about the power. <laughs> But now you're back full screen, and we've seen this story before, Bump. Oh, full screen trouble. Oh, <laughs> it still has a chance to overlap that hit, even though they're on a different plane. And Sykes a million. Unfortunate there. You know, I feel like if Sykes a million was actually using the manual stylish dodge, mm -hmm. some of these matches would be a completely different story. They're, they've gotten to top eight possibly without using it a lot of these matchups. That just shows how good they are already in neutral. Right. And the Blade Devil's Advocate, I've definitely tried to do the manual input of down style and uh, light, or dodge and light, excuse me. Um, and I'll just get an attack and get blown up for it. Yeah, I mean, that's what <laughs> definitely happens sometimes. There's the jump, and though, able to knock out the assist and get the hit. The uh, drops the combo, able to get the reset. Back into the more Kira bomb loops here. Yeah, if anyone's taking patch suggestions, add a <laughs> stylish of <evade> button. <laughs> add it as a macro. Jump in with the JH. Should be able to close out this round decisively. Almost a perfect coming out from Sykes of Million. It is right back. Thanks here. <laughs> Let them know that the door isn't closed. You are not home free here. Matt Pog running away. Oh, catches him trying to jump in there. Nice Stay bottle. right on Jay Gallen gets the crumble. Good thing you had Joseph there to back you up with the assist. And now it's in recovery. Use the puddle early. So it's like Samuel is able to walk up freely. Gets the dash up confirmed there into the bomb. Gotta get more of these five B loops. Set a bomb right where the puddle is. Gotta watch out, you're getting real close to the Jagal puddle. It's gone now. This is the chance for Sykes to get something started. Never too much time between uses there. <laughs> Mad Pog wants to make sure there's always one around. Let's go all the way to the end of the round, and it does. All right, and there we go. Mad Pog now one round away from advancing forward in the loser side of the bracket. Oh. And Sykes just keeps getting caught by Jagal there in the puddle. He starts salivating at the opportunity for damage. <laughs> <laughs> I too am human. <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> I mean, why else do you pick Kosaku other than the big damage, right? <laughs> right. There's the dodge, gets the jump in, but unfortunately went a little too far. Not close enough to get the confirm. This time, though, he was, but the burst comes out from Mad Pog. Just stand out, trying to <laughs> sidestep so they don't get in the way of that puddle. Oh. oh, was able to recognize that the bomb hit and was going to detonate straight into a combo here. Nice awareness, it's like the million. Almost taking the life lead. Oh, great dodge, though, on Wake Up there, avoiding the stray cat bomb. I like the caution for Spike Pavilion. They know better than rushing recklessly at this point in the set. Oh, man, a big punish. Oh, and they're going to combo straight into Bites the Dust again here, utilizing the Joseph assist. Man, I think this is going to take us to one all. That is. Over. One, one now. Detonated. Hey, you can't get it out. It's in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. He's going back. Groundhog Day. <laughs> I love that pose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. Unlimited power. <laughs> I could do it.
<laughs> there it is again. <laughs> now I can truly be free. Kotaku <laughs> shares up. All right, immediately calling out the assist to stay safe. And both these players actually rocking assists with only one burst, right? Mm -hmm. So that means that the offense is going to be a lot more scary and aggressive. You need to really capitalize on the one moment that you're allowed to burst each round. Yeah, we know Joseph with the, uh, the Soccer Volley and Jotaro with the Ola Rush. Those are huge damage opportunities, so it's more valuable to have the two. But, you know, you run that risk of the one defensive you. There's the bomb detonation. Nice juggle going on. Oh, oh but runs him out of the Oki. That's really unfortunate. Still able to take the round, though. And now things have turned around very significantly. Sykes is now the one sitting at set point. Right at the edge of the balcony, as it were. <laughs> Try to advance into the loser side. Loser, this is in fifth place here in our hell bracket. Oh, but there's the anti-air immediately upon wake up. Great challenge, able to get rid of Jotaro, but dashes right into the gunshot. Oh, bullet. oh ah. had the right idea there with the sidestep, but Jay Guile covering that every single time. That's really just one button. It never seems like the recovery can be low enough that you can recover by the time that staff goes. All right, the one burst is gone now for this round. This is where Sykes really needs to capitalize, but they cannot afford to get touched. Jumps right into Jay Guile. Uh, final game, final round now. Final round, here we go. Sykes, a million and mad pop fighting for their lives. All running right into the assist. Pick up here. Just barely avoided Jay Gal there as well. That could have been devastating for Sykes. Gets the Stray Cat Bomb. Of course, that damages Kira as well when you're close to the explosion. And it's more than one hit. It's really cross on the team. Got opened up. That's all in the danger range. Oh, he's trying to guarantee it. Oh, uh, no. But he's still going to be able to close it out here anyway. No, no not grab. Runs and up, pulls the distance, just stops the prey. And a turnaround win from Sykes Amelia, oh, who pops pop off. off. You Let's love go. to see it. Real passion here. Jojo, I'm sorry, Venture All Star Battle R at CEO Taku. Absolutely. That was a on the stage CEO Gaming right after this as well. Very nice. Real this is an Arc Rebel today. event for DNF and Guilty Year Strive. So, Absolutely. Um, remember, these players are shuttling in all over the place to get those circuit points. Yeah, those coveted spots, because there are only eight spots per game, right? Meaning that if you want to be there, you got to go to these tournaments and earn it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Open the game. Yes. Salute to the Darby brothers. They're both jerks in different <laughs> ways. All right, we're actually going for some coin tosses. Coin toss is not going to be a very viable option in this matchup because Pet Shop has those fast-moving projectiles, right? Mm -hmm. Coin toss just takes too long to come out that you're going to immediately get hit by the icicles. But this is a really good start right now for Barrel. Yeah. Huge combo in the corner. Over 50%. That's a testament to Pet Shop's call for the damage output. is for real, for real by Yoshikage. Barrel yeah. starting real strong. And you don't want Elon to get <laughs> their game plan started. Once the setup starts working and Diego starts rocking, it's going to be hard to claim that kind of damage once again. Yeah, absolutely. But here comes the patience. They're all just trying to find a way to get in at the moment. Good sidestep. Nice dodges. Those uh, icicles, the charge button input from Pet Shop, don't track very well. So you can sidestep them fairly easily. You can also jump over them, no problem. And that was a great level one there from Elon also, knowing that the assist was going to come out to try and be a burst, so canceling it immediately into super. Pressure, pressure, dash up for the grab. Not enough for the kill. Oh, but is able to get the overhead there. Called in the assist, too, just for a very tight mix-up. Yeah, forcing the flinch, it looks like. <laughs> Good patience yep. right now from Barrel, but having a hard time getting in on the zoning game here from Pet Shop. 
That interaction right there makes me rethink the deal Brando with this. There's no one of the projectiles are going to be the common attack method in pet shop. It'll only... <laughs> I only see it getting used as a, a burst. Oh, but there's just a dash up throw. Elon getting a little more comfortable here in this matchup, a little more daring as well. Dashes all the way up to pick up the combo. Straight into the great hard attack. I don't think this will kill either. Is he on a sliver? Yeah. Ooh. But still untouched. Elon with a perfect. Yeah, incredible there, taking game number one. And then immediately just looking at his phone, too, like, oh, you know, all day's work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just working my way through this top eight. Now, Elon, um, you know, English isn't a first language, but he said this bird. Scary. <laughs> this bird scary. Is. That's, that's godlike. I agree. This bird is <laughs> scary. Super scary. <laughs> and there's the stylish dog just trying to work his way in right now. Oh, it's another dash up throw. The dash speed of Pet Shop so incredibly fast. Mm -hmm. Able to get the low here into a pickup. Speed of an Apex Predator. Oh, and the moment that you get the hit, right? Immediate burst, and that is the benefit of having two bursts on deck because Elon can afford to let another burst out as well once that assist recovers. There we go, yeah. right into the super. This one should be enough to kill. Yeah, absolutely. You wish me in a natural launch. Flow so smoothly into that. See, why Pet Shop get to be top tier, but Iggy isn't, huh? That's I not mean, fair. <laughs> <laughs> why Arky hate dogs so much? <laughs> is, is Iggy half the man? Pet Shop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, dash up throw yet again here. Going to go straight into a setup. Look at that flying over to carry all the way to the corner. Immediately into the ice overhead. Because of the low there, just trading back and forth, yeah. Yeah, so you get clashes when you use the same attack button uh, at the same time. But if any difference between them, they both get the damage of those buttons. So light heavy, you'll take light damage, I'll take heavy. There we go, canceling immediately into the super, and that is going to be 2 Oh, a quick 2 0 -oh as well there for Elon. Great stuff moving forward here in this top eight. Dimolto. Dimolto. <laughs> Retire. <laughs> the multiple into retire. The thing you're going to call Jojo, that fit is absolutely fire. Mm -hmm. But also, the bros coming through. Grateful Dead is such a strong stand in this game. It has different grabs and different finishers that will actually lock out the opponent's options, whether that be backdashing or jumping or even running, right? So being able to shut down a lot of your opponent's movement options can make Pesci really scary coming in with Beach Boy. So the level one takes away your stylish options. <laughs> level two takes your jump, and then three, you can't dash. Yeah. And overheads being dash punishable means that you're at a great disadvantage if you get that old. Don't want to get those knees clicking. Here we go. You just need to get that hit in, though, right now from Diablo. Diablo can be a lot more slippery than he seems. Here comes Dio as the assist. Tries to go for the cross-up. Max is ready for it. Retreat there. Good defense. Those dashes being intangible from the Evolve makes it tough to track down. Right now we're watching an alternate universe where the assassin team beat the Goku team. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get this reel in, yep. All right, Pesci reeling in again, now summoning Grateful Dead to get some of those OTGs. And stops before he's able to release the cloud. So we're still at level zero. Oh, but there we go, he's eliminated 0.5 seconds. And here we go. Locking out your backdash option there. Gotta walk. Gotta protect the leg. Yeah. And closing out the round. Really good stuff there from Pesci coming through. And if you don't know what you're up against with Rashido, like you feel like a slight bit of relief. And then he does the OGG and reels you in again. You're like, no, not again. <laughs> the college just seems to go on forever. Is able to get the crumple there, so no thank you. Let's the burst rip. Does not want to hold on to that. There's a nice catch. Gets the launcher too off the ground bounce. Walking out that stylish option. 
OTG that just makes you juggleable again. <laughs> so nice to have, and one of the reasons why Bushido's considered one of the top characters, too. Yeah, all of the new characters are so strong in this, but there we go, erasing time just to try and get out of that pressure. Yeah, the creativity of the 10 new characters, they, <laughs> they add new life to the game, or new dimension. Oh, yeah. it's very welcome. Even more characters come as well, but here we go. King Crimson catching the back dash there. Gets the OTG. Look at the guard gauge on Max's side as well. Diablo knows how to pump that guard gauge. Oh, Pesci yep. up. Here we go. Reel him in. Oh, we got a big one today, boys. You might? No. Hold on. Oh, here we go. He's pulling out the gap. <laughs> so I pull up my gun. <laughs> Then I'm going to dramatic finish the one. Oh, he shot him off the cliff, <laughs> Oh, my too. goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. That, we killed the boss. <laughs> <laughs> that is easily, like, the best super in the game, I think. That it's or so Josuke Fours. Man just pulls up a gun and casually <laughs> loads it. Ooh. Pull down, nice go, having the assist. Oh, and you can hold a button and leave a lore out. Tripped up, no thank you, but didn't really convert into anything major. Oh, you see? oh no, dropped the confirm, unfortunate there. Nice stylish dodge. Tries to go for the reel, though. You saw that no thank you tried to answer the stylish dodge of his own, but the reel didn't reach far enough. Oh. That kick doesn't work too well. It all hurts, so he gets punished now on life support in the resolve mode. So um, unlike rumble mode at 30%, this is at 20%. The increase is a little bit larger, but of course you don't have it for as long. So you have to be at a lower health. Absolutely, but there's the stylish dodge. Immediately canceling as to not get punished because getting punished in that situation would not be very good. Here we go. Locking out some options. And has the ability to extend this combo. We're not going to leave food on the table, are we? Uh, are we going to lock out another one here? Mm. Oh, we got the Gas. A's, A's yeah. for us in the crowd. Oh, Epitaph coming through, but Epitaph actually doesn't get the counter. Oh, oh. no counter. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Smart, it would have worked on both characters. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's going to grab first. And this looks like Whole Horse. Stands on <laughs> the floater. Good patience here, jumping in, able to get the jump in, confirm, reel him in, Pesci, kick him while he's down. Oh, yeah. Really like the crowd energy. Oh, I love how he actually used the, the rush punch there to kill a little bit of space, just a small amount of space and also time the meaty, right? Oh, but he goes oh, he's got it. level three! King Crimson time is mine! Yeah, you seen this kill some characters in the cast. This isn't going to be one of them, but this is like 60%. It's insane how much damage oh that does. God. No, not that much. Chalk, and that says, give me some of that meter, too, while you're at it. <laughs> Can't leave you broken alone. And yeah, so that climax there is actually a counter, right? Mm -hmm. Diablo seeing the rush punch, or not, no, thank you, actually seeing the rush punch there and immediately canceling into the climax. Stomp. Pick them up. Hey, hey. Oh, Pesci's up here. This should be able to OTG with Beach Boy. There it is. And Max can be able to take that round. Now, one game away from going up 2-0. Yeah, Heaven Final, Hell's Final, and Maiden Heaven Final. Going to be three out of five, as always. Absolutely. I, I love how packed the crowd here is tonight for JoJo. <laughs> All having a lot of fun with it. There really are a lot of asses and seats out there. It's, it's incredible. Oh, and <laughs> the bait works. And look at the guard gauge so close to just being broken. You can't afford to throw oh, another no. block straight. You also can't afford to take a hit, though. <laughs> okay, let's throw out the burst. But it has to be a scary situation. Max is sitting oh, on a lot of meter. Oh! Nice double PC. Both of them felt the danger. No thank you, took her to the punch. 
Makes seven last hit, gets a grab. Yeah, dash right into the throw. They're gonna back up and create a little bit of space. Tried to throw out Beach Boy. Oh, they pushed themselves out! The real end <laughs> into the, the Oh, oh that's gonna wow. do it! Max taking it there. Incredible, gonna be going up 2-1 now. And look at him yeah, laughing. Again, off the cliff you go, boss. Just laughing. <laughs> now, now, Maniacal now, now. laughter. <laughs> Cannot believe that that just worked. <laughs> yo, I love it this again. Game. Into the abyss. This game's tight. <laughs> this game this is game's incredible. Tight. I love it so much. Game number four. Heaven's final. Max Evers, no thank you. All right, back dashing now. Great stylish dodge immediately into the throw, and you saw no thank you answering with the stylish dodge of their own, but it is not immune to throws. All right, pressure is still on. Gonna get some OTGs. Ooh, what a back dash there, able to avoid that, but still getting caught again afterwards. More OTGs here, setting up level one still. You see that meter down on Prosciutto's side. The level one there is how many stacks he can get on, right? So he was able to get the level two stack. As it fades over time, so will the debuff. So right now they saw the, the dash. That recoil there was because they were trying to jump. And because they were at level two, oh, they were unable. There we go, closing out the round. Now sitting at set point, Admiral Funk. And it's extremely punishable when you do that. When you when you go for a no option, um, like Pesci in the, the lockdown due to age, or Rohan with the safety lock, um, you are super <laughs> hittable. Yes, absolutely. Look at all this meter as well. I can get a little closer. You, you might be dead here. They're putting him in the home. Yeah, <laughs> I think he might be dead. <laughs> we'll see this is going to be it with the, the final you know gunshots. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that it. That should be it. Absolutely. One, two, three. Oh, and three for three? Yeah, with the perfect <laughs> as well for the final round. And the dramatic finish just keeps knocking him off the cliff. <laughs> That is going to be it here. Man. <laughs> Max going to be moving forward over No Thank You in a barn burner of a set there. The crowd is getting absolutely hyped over that match. I know we are too. <laughs> uh, man, absolutely. I mean, you trying to raise time, but I, that was an ink. <laughs> that was just regardless of what they tried off the cliff. But now it looks like we're going to be going into Elon versus Sykes a Million coming up. So Bird Shop versus Kira. Oh, man. Uh, versus Kosaku. Uh, <laughs> we, had, we had a Kira, we had a yeah, Kosaku. Yeah, yeah. This one's Kosaku. Yes. Um, and yeah, Elnon's uh, Pet Shop has been doing damage. And another projectile match I means Sykes a Million is going to be up for a challenge. I know, it's been all projectile it's matches. It's been all zoning all against him. It's been a tough Sykes run. Absolutely. Uphill, but you know this man's a fighter. And I hope for all of you watching at home, if this hasn't convinced you already, go out and buy All-Star Battle R. This game is absolutely incredible. It has a very, it has a lot of unlockable costumes, a lot of really fun combos. The systems are really interesting, and it has a ton of grind for all of you lab monsters out there. You can hop in the lab, get all of these unblockable sets. Tons of really interesting situations as well, right? But here we go. Here comes the button check. Yeah, they improved the practice mode as well. You can now reset, you can quick restart. Um, check your positioning. You can even record options for your... This sentry gameplay. Just stand on the ice tickle or push your opponent into one. That's how the set shots are doing the majority of their damage. Elon was expertly wielding this character. And immediately, every single time, they just set up the Ice Pillar and start summoning the projectiles, right? And Sykes really just doesn't have an idea yet on how to get through that. I mean, extremely challenged by it. You stare that ice down, you're like, man, I don't want to get frozen. And then goes into the flight meter, so even when you think, man, they're close enough I can touch them, the hover happens. <laughs> Elon New escapes once more. 
And then there we go. Dash up throw again. Gonna be able to close out the first round. Starting off with a quick dash up. I like the pre match mobility. Um, we haven't seen a lot of people, you know, retreat <laughs> at the start of a match. <laughs> um, Runs right into the ice pillar, though. I think that's something I'd be afraid of, is, you know, rushing right into um, a big problem. But you got to get close with these, these normals of Kozaku. Oh, and there we go, right into the level one. But oh, oh. Joseph coming out and actually stopping it. That is the thing with some supers in this game. The supers that aren't very cinematic, you can call an assist during them. Uh, excuse yes. me, a burst during them to stop the super. Ironically, Joseph is one of them. <laughs> Again, just running into the ice, and right now, Elon is working on a perfect here. Has two bars on deck, and there it is. Straight into the climax. I, that's, you don't even have to worry about that. We're going to go into game two. <laughs> Elon new ending game one with a perfect. Yeah, very solid. Oh, bumped the chest as well, huh? That's maybe their fourth on stream. <laughs> They've been doing great. <laughs> this lockdown is so serious. They have really been dominating, right? Pet Shop is such a hard character to deal with. Oh, actually takes out half of the guard bar there. And I want to see more of that from Sykes. If you're able to get a block string, just go for the guard break, right? Try and force it so you can get that guaranteed damage because your opportunities to get in and get that damage on Petshop are going to be few and far between. Right. It's like you're saying that that, uh, that break um, for the guard isn't really consistent. Like, he needs a little bit of assistance to make that real. Um, but when he can do it, he has been shattering some guards. Oh, but there's the Ooh. jumping, gets the cross under as well. Stylish dodges the assist, and that's what you love to see. Stargate is about to be broken. Spikes punish the retreating jump. Yep, the fan back. Good patience right now from Spikes, just trying to again Ooh. figure out how to get in on this. Not looking too good, though, and there is that dash up throw. It's especially difficult when you see that the opponent is sitting with max meter, too. So if you're forced to block something, they can immediately just go for that cancel, right? Right. Yeah, you can see the resemblance of, you know, there's no weaknesses to my, my strategy. And there we go, right into the climax yet again. Going to do a grip of damage here, utilizing all three bars. Drop an absolute slab on him. Breaking it up, Diego. Regulating. Yeah, I had to call it just there. That was going to be a very dangerous situation. Killer Queen is on deck. And that transition was locked in, so Sykes and Million just trying to preserve himself. And man, if this isn't some complex algebra, like, how are you <laughs> going to figure this problem out? And oh. the dash up throw is going to do it, and that is. 2-0, oh, Elon gonna be moving. And so this is actually a run back from earlier on in the bracket as well. There's the dash through, unfortunately gets hit by the 2A though there from Pet Shop. Good confirm, gonna push all the way across the screen. Tries to go for the overhead. Yeah. Clean jumping, but wasn't able to get the confirm though, Admiral. And uh, as a reminder, this is the first winner's match. Elon New versus No Thank You. No Thank You won 2-1. Mm -hmm. This is Hell's Final, so it's going to be a 3 out of 5. Yeah, and that's going to be the very first round coming out. You saw No Thank You tried to send out Geo to break the super, but unfortunately, you cannot break those cinematic supers like that. Yeah, but now it's going to be 3 out of 5 the whole way through. Yeah. The long haul sets. It's going to be a game of adjustment, persistence, composure, really. Oh, for sure. Some of these matches can go very long. A lot of mental fortitude is needed, especially against a character that is as tilting as Pet Shop. Mm -hmm. There you go. You find yourself <laughs> down quite often. Along with saving Diego for the break. Still has two offensive uses of it. We've seen that... Uh, 
the wake up meaty call of the AO. Mm -hmm. Here we go, a nice corner combo. Tons of damage on deck, gonna spend a bunch of it. Look at your oh. health bar, pet shop, this poor bird. Oh, it just keeps going. Okay. First comes out, catches him trying to jump yeah. out there with the upwards icicle. And that icicle being like a mortar strike, it's just such a built-in anti-air. It's a pressure tool. It's an overhead. Oh, look at that guard gauge, though. No, thank you. Smells blood in the water. Just come on. I just want to block. Once you to block one more time, please. And there we go. It's starting to regenerate now for Elon. Not quite. Can you get the level two? That's okay. I mean, just next confirm. Elon lands neatly. No, thank you. Doing everything to fight against it. With the aggression, this is a good time for, for the GHA. Oh, instead, actually, we get Epitaph coming out. That forces, though, Elon to stop short with the pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to force Diablo into the stylish dodge. This is no thank you's chance to capitalize, but misses the OTG. Cool. Right into the level one. That's going to be 2-0 here for Elon. Just needs one more to move on to grand finals. Can they do it? Well, no thank you. Shit. A win on the board. They're trying to get Frankie G over here offering some advice to know. Thank you. Says, hey, ice the player. They're feeling good right now. Don't just go right to restart. <laughs> go into the character select. But he they said, go into rematch. He said, don't get hit and get rid of his health. That's right. the matchup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't get touch game meter. Use it at the right time. Exactly. That's <laughs> right. Duh. Oh, but there's the dash up throw coming out. Gets hit by the meaty icicle too. Stylish dodge. Too many projectiles there. And rubbing the wall. Even though the stylish dodge happened, they got touched by the icicle because they didn't move far enough away. Yeah, and this game does have like circular, right? It's a right. circular arena. There are not really corners. So once you're up against the wall, you will just keep going in a circle around it if you keep the combo going. Oh no, Dio trying to save him at the last second, but that is now sitting at set point for Elon. And this is redemption. Like we said, no thank you, 1 2 1. If Elon gets an unanswered 3 0, that is yeah. just growth in real time. <laughs> Stylish dodge, though, on the meaty. I love the jump back, though, knowing that when the Stylish dodge came out, he was going to go for the uh, super jump forward. Oh, watch the ankles. The goal. Oh, dash nice. through to the other side. Nice punish. Yeah, and when Epitaph is active, that dash through crosses up. Otherwise, it's just a step. Repeat it too well until it works. All right, no thank you, creating a little bit of space, trying to find the opportunity to get in, jump straight onto the icicle though. Nice too well, get rid of Diego. Doesn't want to deal with it, does it again. Nice reactions there from no thank you. No Ooh, thank you still has a burst on deck as well, but you know the moment that L1 gets the hit, they're going to go into the climax. Oh, this meter deficit is serious as well. Oh, but Diego coming through, what? stopping the combo short. That's it for Burst, though, for both players. Oh, oh man, hold the button. That means two or three. Ran finals here coming through. Look at that, just rushing each other down right at the start. To get close again, Elon remaining <laughs> strong on the strategy. Don't let the touch me set on the icicle and freeze them if they step on my lawn. There's an ice confirm. Immediately jumps back and summons the ice again here. And it's really trying to figure out how to get around these pillars, right? That is the big problem that a lot of players have been having in this matchup so far. It's daunting, and it's a lot more real than even Prosciutto has one of those choices. Uh, we saw Whole Horse <laughs> laying the hangman down. Prosciutto can lay the, uh, the lore, and that does a crumple on the opponent that you go off and cross it. I and mean, there's the dash up pro coming out so much tonight from Elon.
trying to maneuver around these icicles. There's the JB trying to get in. Kick this nullified the option. Yeah, stomp on him. It's gonna be a lot of extra damage here too. About to get the oh my god. Are they gonna go for the super here? No, they're gonna try to go for another mix-up. Yeah. Now they are in a one-touch kill range. If they're able to get the touch on the pet shop, they can close this out. Hard to punish there, charge the blood, and now has the Oh, they get flipped by the icicles. Last second there. Salon New is the one that needs to get six wins here coming from the loser side. Nice set in the top spot. Only needs to win one set. Alright, able to pick up straight into the climax once again. Gonna get a grip of damage here. And the worst part too is that once you eat this climax, you're set full screen. You might have to get in on catch up all over again. And already have the reef. <laughs> People with toe, I got the cargo. Never not holding a button. So if you see those uh, icicles behind Pet Shop, I, we never really explained that mechanic. If you hold any button, it sets up that mm -hmm. attack. And yeah. they, they have light homing, they're not very strong, um, but it interrupts a lot. You can release it jumping and on the ground. Yeah, it's just a way to harass your opponent, right? Mm -hmm. Just start to make them think about their approach, which is what the biggest problem has been for a lot of these characters, is the approach. And here we go. We're going to get the swap straight to Cat going. He says, I'm tired of trying to play Rushdown. You want to play zoning? We'll play zone. <laughs> Let's zone. And I think Emerald Splash outnumbers the projectile count. It should. Are they just going to sit here and shoot icicles and Emerald Splash at each other? Oh, gets caught trying to jump out, though, from the overhead. There's the jumping C, immediately setting up the trap. And these game plans, man, they're going to resemble each other. <laughs> you already saw. <laughs> yeah, these characters so are actually kind of similar there. in many ways. Mm -hmm. Give a knockdown, set up a spike that you can hide behind or set your opponent up on hitting. And the thing you see here is that Elon is fully aware of how strong of a zoner attack going is. So playing a little bit more of a rushdown style here with Headshot now. This character, versatile. <laughs> oh, this what a freak. cross up. Big trade. Come on, with a hard knockdown. DT's in and goes right into the AJJ. And Level this, one, not oh. going to kill. What an answer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, an attack start. That level one is such a strong tool as well for Cat going. You can do it on jump reaction. You can react to attacks. It's a real monkey wrench of a special. Oh. oh. And the crowd groaning. <laughs> like, Please take down this bird. We beg you. <laughs> oh, but there's the stylish dodge coming through. Good block. And I love the fade back jump heavy there, the jump C. Man, it is so tough to get on a track going when they're using those respectively. Oh, gets the pickup as well, but here comes the burst out with Diego. Yeah, Emerald Flash just eats oh. all the <laughs> That's the option here, and I love the command roll too. Yeah, Kakoin has that command roll forward, right? Mm -hmm, it's a yeah. really interesting way for him to get in, and the crowd pops off and I'm taking the round oh, here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We love an underdog story, but not when it's a Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the super! Bump. He actually cancels it to stay safe. Genius stuff there. Yeah, yeah these aren't frame one activations, so you have a little bit of a window uh, to adjust in case it gets it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> dicey. All right, setting up the trap there as well, just trying to cover some space. Emerald Flash, meaty, sends it out again. But what a super jump there into the fly, right? To just keep yourself up high, also summoning the projectile. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a confirm here from Max. Oh, pop them low. And there it is. Tying it up <laughs> one, one, and the crowd Man. goes wild. Oh, slight nice. Like, all right. All that applause you see behind Max Ev is for them. <laughs> Cheering for Cat Yo. Love it, Cat Yo. people. <laughs> Two, two, three,
Take off the glasses. Oh man, Wester mode. Cooler cat going. <laughs> right. Alright, Emil Splashes are out again here. Good job on the defense so far, but fading back, unfortunately not going for the JC. And there's Ooh. a stylish dodge on the burst attempt. I think just like Guilty Gear, you know, week one, people were finding the wrong kinds of bursts and how to punish them. Also, I the believe... The same thing happens with these defensive assist calls. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that level one is actually invincible on Wake Uh, Kakyoin? Yeah, Kakyoin's level one. Yeah, I believe, I believe it actually so. is an invincible reversal, which is few and far between in this game. Oh, but there's a nice stylish dodge and the punish on the 2A here. Great first attempt, but immediately upon waking up, they eat another low, got caught standing. Yeah, still a long time away from having that assist available again. Oh, Big pressure, same side landing. Nice defense from Maxev, able to get the space again. Yeah, and when you're up against the wall, it is very difficult to stylish dodge against the Emerald Flashes, right? You will just dodge directly into them. Mm -hmm. Oh, should be able to end it with a level one here, but no, Diego comes through, breaks the combo. Oh, not watching the legs. Oh, Dead. too far away for the jump C. <laughs> oh, and the Falcon dive coming through. Try to oh, get it again. Oh, the jump in the air. <laughs> Max up, air to air play. Critical to winning that round. Oh, there's a reversal, but cancels it in time to get the punish. Had burst on deck, though, to keep himself safe. Oh, uh, into the wall. Does it again? Oh, yep. the keeps it. Nice. <laughs> Yo, see, you talking one with 37. <laughs> <laughs> Multi parries are high. <laughs> Diego Brando. Jumping stab. Oh, dash up throw again coming out from Pet Shop. Oh, that overhead low is so Whoa. disgusting! And again, <laughs> if Elon thinks about jumping, that low attack <laughs> comes right out. Look at this, confirm here. Again, setting up the trap. But Elon is doing such a good job of just destroying the trap and making it a non-factor, right? Utilizing the icicles there. Mm -hmm. And I think Max Seven's getting down the distance. <gasps> You've seen some of these fadeaways when uh, Elon goes high and tries to throw icicles. Knows how far away from Pet Shop he needs to be. Oh, oh. there we go. Elon, now they're tied up in rounds and gains. It is neck and neck right now, Admiral Funk. But you really said it, Jobber. The aggression coming out of Elon New is kind of <laughs> unexpected. Uh, but you had to rise to this occasion. Very similar characters. Close the space, pressure them more, and make them slip. Over the air, Emerald Splash this time. Catches low on the way down. I love the media Emerald Splash, but there's the wake up stylish dodge. And now Elon getting the pressure on. Moving back eight. Nice fly. You're up oh, there. Oh, wow. Well. He was too So it's not in invisible. It. Question answered. <laughs> While Hyrule Frank Green jumps up there, but if there's a lot of aerial actions, Kakyoin clearly still vulnerable. All right, takes this guys again with the button air to air. And look at that, it puts them all the way back as well. So difficult to punish in this situation, but anyone can do it. Kakyoin can get clipped by the low. Pet Shop is sitting at max bar. Here comes the climax. Hey, chat room, will it Four. kill? <laughs> I think we got about 50 or something. Not Oh, quite. not even. <laughs> well, I oh, but the oh. assist coming out. Still had Diego. Stylus done. Oh, no! the tap throw. throw. That's going to put it. So it did it. Yeah, Two to one. one. Max Sev <laughs> advances to tournament point here. Elon News not out of the woods, though. <laughs> Incredible, what a play there. That throw tech coming out so clutch, immediately wow. going straight into the level one super. Such clutch, and if there was ever a time to pull that out of your pocket, there it was. Oh. 
All right, calling assist, immediately setting up the trap. Just trying to create a little bit of space. And of course, being a bird has aerial chain beats. So. <laughs> All right, roll forward. Yep, mm -hmm. gets the JH. Of course, the burst is going to come out. Oh. Roll forward right again. Max starting off really strong in this next match. And Diego's still on cooldown, so Elon has to hold that. Oh, oh he comes right back into it. That's the round. round. Oh, oh my point. goodness. Tournament, tournament point. point, Admiral Funk. Here we go. Elon just running into it. The round starts. And I'd say the aggression could be something to, to watch out for. You know, you, you might lose sight of it by just seeing blood. But Elon is still but, choosing some pretty good options for the situation. Max is doing such a good job dealing with the aggression, though. But the command roll gets beat out. And the jumping oh, C man. has been the name of this matchup so Dude. far. Damage, gonna block. Super, yeah, and here comes the punish. Are they gonna spend Full the level meter. three? There's nowhere to go but down if you have max. Oh, here, yeah, the level two is absolutely coming here. The climax should be enough to kill oh, as well. No, no drops it. it. Oh, but that's the, that reset. Stop playing with the food. You gotta end this. There you go. Yeah, do doesn't even need the level three. Just goes for the level one this time. Which is really wise. You know, start the next round with two. And then first combo, cash out. Absolutely. Oh, actually beating out the JC there. Really interesting to see that interaction. Gets the low, but the burst comes out. Mista saving the day. Gets put by the low again, oh. though. <laughs> Max up has been bullying Elon through the last two rounds of low attacks. And Elon knew is now just easily showing, hey, if you want to go low, I'll go lower. Oh, okay. oh and that's it. Yeah, stuck between a rock and a hard place there. The climax coming out. We are tying this up 2 2. Yep, incredibly low scaling. Went right into that. And you know, a tempered applause break from the crowd, but they are respecting the way that this match has been going so far, and so are we. We are on the edge of our seat as and that Grand is a, Finals continues. A perfect coming out right now. And man, I'm just so happy to see JoJo Never perfect. Just, that was a perfect. Oh my goodness. But the way that. All-Star Battle Large is gripping this huge crowd right now. It's incredible to see. Yeah, there are two screens in this direction. Three quarters of the sections are looking at this one. <laughs> there we go. Pressure is on the fade back with the JA. The stylist dodge on the first attempt. And Elon smells blood in the water. Again, getting caught by that assist. The mix-up game so strong right now for Pet Shop. Oh, it is invisible. Yep. Okay. It has invisibility there just on the startup. Oh, an interesting That's trade it. there. They're going to be in Elon's favor. Oh, cross under. Oh, this could be the end of the round. Right into the ice wheel. Yep, that is going to be it. And now Elon is the one sitting on reset point. Man, and a familiar situation as they were on max. Saves two to go into the next round. And to make sure there's no shortage of resources and that they can reset this bracket. Max F, not too far behind, though. Great job going to the air and challenging Pet Shop, though. But that, oh. what a move. Beating out the JC, just starting <laughs> to throw it out over and over now. This is the growth of the matchup. This had to be something else. Oh, observed. What? JC hitting from the back. Hey, yo. <laughs> nice to dash up grab. A lot of tension here. You are going to be more inclined to sit and block, but that it is a can. punish. Not a ton of damage on deck, but it is able to reset neutral right and get Pet Shop off you. Some breathing room. Absolutely. It's a deterrent, if nothing else. Oh, good challenge in the air. Getting so close, but the burst comes out. Immediately oh, Pet Shop rushing down. Nice PC. Hustle up. Oh, no, they're in the air. Oh, Yo, the no. nice That's the second time that's happened. Get too high there. Able to get the low. Oh no, is this going to be dead? 
Go straight into the climax. Oh, we'll see. Chat. Pass or fail. Live or die. No, he's not dead. I'm betting my channel points. He's not dead. Oh, oh my god. Good bet. Good bet, Jobber. What an answer! Oh! Oh! Final day five! We're going to final round, guys! This is either going to be a reset for another match between these two, or it is all ending right here, and Max is taking it home. Is Elon going to be able to pull it out? Oh, man. My fingernails grew just so I could bite them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Max starting off. Pretty well right now, throwing out the Emerald Flashes, getting a nice confirm, hard knockdown, set up the trap. Doesn't have enough to PC, and was too far, so that was not going to happen either way. Just jump back, these and the chase from Elon New, dancing under the ring drops there. Oh, wait, he's able to block across up this time. JC, there's the Oki. Oh, the oh. neutral jump coming out. Good block, switching low to high. Oh, Mista. Mista, Mista. I get the juggle with the genie going to the end of the round. It gets clipped by the low. <laughs> nice stylish. Dodge. Drops oh. the confirm though afterwards. JC coming out. Was too far away to be able to pick up the confirm because Diego is currently not online. Oh, he crossed under. Committed to a button. And that's going to be dead. He is absolutely dead here. Hits. We should be going on to a reset. Look at he's praying. He's thinking about it. Please. They're like, give me 1%. Hey, it is! we're still living. This is not oh, over, but the grab down. does it. And we have a reset now. Oh, new working hard, getting a fresh set of rounds as we oh. go into the made in heaven reset. <laughs> Even more all-star battle. Actually, one oh, more set. Oh, dude, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, what a ride this has been. And you this can see. This tournament is nuts. You can see the pain on Max's face here. Did not want to have to go into another set against this character. I'd be exhausted going up against this pet shop. I want this to be over. All right, immediately into the level one, but cancels and gets the punish here. That's the risky thing. When your opponent has meter available, they can't keep themselves safe in reaction to the reversal. Yep. Clean throw immediately setting up the trap again. Yeah, we will say that the, that PC isn't universally available. There are certain moves that you, once you commit, you're committed. Mm -hmm. yeah, at this stage in the tournament, you shouldn't expect to see that many <laughs> costly errors. These guys are playing their asses off. Oh, and gets crossed up yet again there. Wake yeah. up, Super. It's going to land this time. Remember, you are caught in an animation when you throw the icicle there, so a really great reaction there from Max, but the burst comes out once again. Oh. You see him go to the air. There's nice. the punish. He has an answer to that now. That is so important. No, he dropped the confirm. That was a round winning combo. Oh. Still able to pull it out. He tried again to rush in with that DP. Had the meter available to PC if they wanted to, but stifling it with Max Sev gets that first round. Nice pickup here from Elon. Hey. Oh, jump back again. You know, unfortunately, the trap really hasn't been doing a whole lot here for Kakyoin. Holy oh, cancel with the fade back. Same side. We've seen the cross under several times. Now the defense is getting sketchy. It's a coin flip. Good blocks there. Able to get the fade back, JC, yet again. Now let's get some touch. Oh, nice. Silas Dodge oh. is still matching on the 2A there. Trying. I think Elon's starting to anticipate those jump Cs. So, <laughs> respecting that, Max 7 has been using it less. Okay, gets the command roll this time. Nice pickup. Keeping the loops going. Meaty Emerald Splash is on deck. Ooh. Jump back. Oh. We see that win rounds. That, that scramble. Mista almost dealing enough damage there. Oh my god, Elon is sitting on max meter. 
Oh, PC oh, it's A! Right <laughs> it's a. level one. Is it gonna be an, it's not enough no, to kill not. though? That's gonna hit. No! Oh, no it's not! It's it hit Diego! Diego said, I'll take that bullet, Mr. Mr. President! President get down! <laughs> get down! Time, get down! Let's go, Chopper! Man, what a match! Alright, fade back, JC, yet again. And oh, L1 has been so on point with the stylish dodges on all of these emerald flashes. Of course, Petshop with a lot of great air mobility means that he can just get in over the zoning game from Kakyoin. Right, and not to mention, he's not even not only on the emerald flashes, the assist calls have been getting those stylish updates and continuing the combo. Oh, catches the jump back attempt there with the icicle. Tries to go for the super. That reversal has not worked a single time when Petchop has been in the air. Mm -hmm. Gonna pin them. Put those wings for a moment. All right, should be able to get the roll forward here. Nice pickup, but again, Diego coming out as the burst. Second try. Should be able to close this out with the super. I love it, keeping it short and sweet. Cancel right, right into right. it. Max going up game one in this reset. Don't let scaling be a factor. Oh, it's Joshu. <laughs> <laughs> Joshu coming through with the rock. <laughs> okay, deep breaths, everybody. Take a swig of water if you're watching at home. Yeah, yeah. grab your towel. <laughs> Wipe the sweat from your brow. We know it's tense. It's almost over. <laughs> All right, JC yet again. Goes for the roll forward. Interesting scramble situation, but Max is going to be the one coming out on top. Okay, not able to respond to the assist all that time. And he's setting up. Another TC to make it safe. So I think mean, Elon's gonna start to really hold on to one meter at the HHG. I mean, absolutely. You've seen throughout the entire set that Elon's been holding on to the meter until they get three bars so they can capitalize on the full bar climax, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, bit more cross down. right under. Mista coming in for the save. Again, nice. still not happening. Once catch off to the air, there's no stars in them, it seems. Oh, that's one way to do it. Chase him up to the skies, get the command roll pick up, but the burst comes out here. Oh, cross under Mista, saving at the last possible second. And this game does have no chip kill, so go straight for the dash up throw. Very nice. And still resources in the pocket for Elon. Have one more defensive call at their disposal. Second low grabs the stylus paid. That is an answer to it. Oh, getting clipped there. Actually put out the JC and the JC hit the ice. Really unfortunate for Max. Tried a little early to do a stylus of their own. Emerald flash. Trying to get that gap between those two emerald flashes have gotten L on both times that we've seen it. Yeah, and doing a good job also just going to the sky. And this is the problem, though, is you're seeing Max is jumping back to try and preemptively see where is Pet Shop going to go? Is Pet Shop going to go into the air so I can press a button or not? And sometimes Elon just runs right underneath, right? And mm -hmm. then gets that punish going straight into the climax here. Possibly enough to kill? I don't think so. I'm betting all my points. No, no. Oh, my magic goodness, Magic Pixel. Pixel. That's a throw. The run-up throw is, of course, going to do it. It actually looked like there is that Max tried to go for the manual stylish dodge. He got thrown out of it. Yeah, that white flash of the character. They usually do a defensive pose of some kind, but that white flash is an indicator that they're going for the stylish evade. They just ran right into each other here at the round start situation. 1-1 one, one in this grand finals reset. And again, setting up the pillars. It's just built in pressure. You set it and forget it. 
Oh, trying to go for the command grab in that situation. Interesting option. I like it. Get a little fancy as the set goes on. Make him remember that you have those tools. Gets flipped by the low right into the climax again. Elon loves to get that substantial life lead there. Taking advantage of the problem once again. Rumble more action on top healing. Gets the throw. Setting up the trap again just to cover you. Gonna pin them. Not gonna spend the meter on it. Yeah, I think he knew he was just a little too far away to get the jump in, right? Yeah. It's not worth the gamble. This is the first round. So any meter that you keep, you take on into the next round. It's not like Guilty Gear where it resets to zero. You gotta yeah, save no. that progress. Oh no, and unfortunate there. It looks like Max is starting to feel it a little bit. You can see the pain in his face. He cannot allow that to get to his head. You need to stay composed in this match. It is intensely fatiguing to play a long set against a pet shot. Went to game five. Real emotional reset that got us here. Able to block the same side. Mista coming in for the burst. And just a relentless attack. Makes it real hard to catch your breath. The lows aren't working the way they were on the winner side. Oh, tried to go for the run up throw that time, but Whiff wasn't able to get the punish. Really unfortunately, crosses under and gets the low. Nice dash up block. Oh, oh there we go. Keep her going to land. I thought they stopped hitting buttons. Nice call out by Max Ev. Oh, and the roll forward into JC actually connected. Caught Pet Shop on the dodge. Oh, but the stylish dodge coming through. Able to get nice. that anti air right into the super, and that should be the round here for Max. Yeah. All right. 1-1, one, one. final round in game three here of Made in Heaven Reset. Or the Requiem. I like Made that. Made in Heaven Requiem. That's, I like that. That's tight. Again with the fade back to JC. What side step <laughs> coming out here from Elon has absolutely mastered the movement of this game. Ash back and then hit him with a drive by. Oh. Game from Diego. Oh my goodness. Come by the cross up, going straight into the climax here. That's three bars, absolutely enough to kill. So, one thing to know about in this game is you have level ones and you have level twos. The level twos, if you have three bars, will use all three bars and do extra damage. Right. Give it a little further enhancement. Oh, it no. Up. That, you hate to see that. The, the face in the hands, that is not a good sign here for Max, but they need the crowd support. The crowd has been cheering them on the entire time. You got to believe. You got to believe it is not over yet. The crowd has been very invested. It's supportive of Max says. I think they need to <laughs> rise up again. But Elon, I think, feeds off of that energy, too. Once they started cheering, they were like, oh, really? Okay, we'll give them a show. Oh, no, and unfortunately starting off not very strong here right now for Max. Elon absolutely running wild with this momentum. Oh, open them up. Goes into level one. Real strong, decisive confirms coming out of Elon. Pressing the power position that they're in at two to one in the set. Oh, Try to stylish. Nice answer. And I love that JC there, unfortunately not able to pick up the combo any further. Whoa. Oh, what a confirm here. You're going to go into the climax? Yes! You Ooh, cannot hey. escape. Nowhere to hide. 20 meters. <laughs> I've got it all covered. There's nowhere you can move. Unless you're Dio. Unless you're Dio. There's no water tower on this stage. So we're fine. No, 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 <laughs> we're good. And that's what I want to see more of out of Max. Going for some of those lows, right? Mm -hmm. 
And just because you've been having lower success doesn't mean to stop using it. And I don't think Max Ev has really abandoned it, but we just haven't really been seeing him hit those, cr those critical moments like he did just there. Oh, there's that dash up throw, the tick wrap there off of the ice. Ooh. And the jump-ins a lot of times for Elon have been a single button. And as the set goes on, they go into the chain B. But you know I could throw more than one move while I'm up here. And see, I love that. Going for more of these damaging options, right? I know they've been consistently going for setting up the trap, but the trap has really not been doing anything. Right, no. Elon's been basically just flying over the entire time and still getting free pressure. Random win low. It it's punish punishable. That. Yeah. There we go. 2 2. Final game. There's the roar. In our first ever CEO Taku JoJo All Star Battle R tournament, we are going to the final, final match. That's right. Game 10 Grand Final CEO Taku Part 6. You couldn't have written a better script. Let's see. Open the game. Be? One last time. Right there's the dash of throw though coming out from Elon. Able to get that overhead right into the low. Jump back C. Ooh, roll forward into grab. Life still fairly even, but pet shots to HP. <laughs> Tell the difference to work. And there, I love it being a Ooh. little bit more aggressive, right? It's actually working out for Max in these situations. Oh, what's the dodge is oh from Oh my Elon. goodness. Just slowly itching their way in, able to get the crumple there with a sweep. Grounded, the trap. They have been walking away from the trap too, um, which maybe does take away a little bit of the effect in this. I love the pace here right now. Unfortunately gets tossed and that's going to put Max in a very strong position. Excuse me, Elon in a very strong position. They have a one-touch kill range now. He's with the defensive break. Oh, oh, oh drops, drops it. The firm. And then the jump C nullifies those pillars. Jump C again. Gets the pick up here. But too oh, far away. He cancels it. Goodness, he cancels nice. it. And now he's sitting at Turner Boy. He says, hold on, hold on. Perfect usage of the puts and cancel. Oh, oh, gets caught low. Elon sitting on max meter. Are they going to go for the climax? No, they want to make sure it kills. Man, Elon is putting their foot through the floor of the gas pedal here. I'm down. Max Ev is at tournament point. The aggression isn't changing. Big There's grab. the throw. Immediately summoning Diego, able to get the hit into the combo. Diego is not going to be available to save you here, right into the level one. Gonna take it. Still hasn't yet claimed the life lead, but after no. this they can. Actually called out Diego too. So oh. close. There oh, was the big one. There it is. Oh, it happens. It's your CEO Taku 2022 JoJo All Star Battle R Champion. Look at the crowd. They're on their feet. Max Sev overcoming their own demons as they <laughs> oh, battled the adversity back in, in Elon Moon's pet shop. What a final set. The reset from Elon going all the way to the final, final game. Both of these players absolutely incredible. Neither of them can feel bad about that one. Man, <laughs> yeah. you might have to lay down for a little bit, get that heart rate back to normal. Because that was a pulse pounding set by these two juggernauts. Man. Absolutely in. Insane, Kakyoin winning our first ever tournament here at CEO Taco. And you know what? I want to see this game at more majors. It is absolutely really incredible. The crowd ate it all up. Look, any majors that are coming up in the future, you got to add some JoJo All-Star Battle to your lineup, all right? Absolutely. You saw it here. You saw the excitement from the crowd, the excitement from everyone. I mean, this game is honestly incredible. Incredibly underrated as well. A lot of yes. people wrote it off just because of the netcode situation. But as you can see, it has a lot of heart, a lot of soul, and people are really gravitating towards it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm uh, confronted with the memory of Windjammers, which is in the same boat. Netcode woes uh, kind of supposedly, you know, made it a dead game. It's never dead. If you get players together and they're playing the game, it's not dead. Absolutely. <laughs> we got 78 players for this tournament, and I expect to see more. I mean, wherever this game gets some shine, 
Uh, I, I hope you guys come out and play. If you I, haven't tried it, think about it. I think after this top eight, it's going to inspire some people to enter this game. Definitely. I definitely think so, because I feel more inspired to go back and lab some of these matchups, play even more online with my friends. And you know I'm going to be entering next year if we have this at CEO Top. Right. I was watching the uh, the releases of uh, the Frosty Faustine lineup, and I was surprised to see that yeah. it was, wasn't going to be a main game. But that doesn't close the door on it being a side game. Yes. So, if anybody's going to organize it, you know, shout it out. Hit up the ASB Discord. And um, that community is still thriving out here. If you need some info on your characters, they got sections for it. So check it out. Learn yourself. Absolutely. And if you can just, if you can just organize these side tournaments and get them up. And and stay loud enough, they gotta put you in the main lineup eventually, right? We've seen Definitely. games like Skullgirls yep. be able to pull that off, so I wanna see that for JoJo All-Star Battle as well. All right, and we're getting closer here to our top eight ceremony. Um, An incredible I think we're top still getting everybody in position. The medals are gonna be set, and we're gonna throw to our MC as soon as they're ready. So, um, you know, one more time, thank you guys for tuning in to CEO Taku 2022. I'm Admiral Funk, this is King Jobber. Um, we, we had the absolute pleasure of commentating this for you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to throw to the ceremony right now. Thank you. Yeah, as soon as we're ready for that ceremony, right? Oh, oh Actually, not quite yet. I, we're I, still I, getting those medals ready. A little premature there, but that's okay. Yeah, I did that yeah, earlier, don't right. worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited to get these champions crowned. And what better way, what better medal to win as a JoJo fan than the Redstone of Asia? Yes. Right? Man, it, it hurt so bad that I got ninth in two games. I know. <laughs> I was like, like, I'm I right outside it. of the goal. I want it Give right now. And we even have Jabali in the Jotro Part 6 cosplay as well. Coming and up then with we got with the Koichi as well. <laughs> <laughs> the Koichi hair. <laughs> Koichi with all the medals on arm. Oh, and I think you know, Jolene's going to hand them out. You know we're real JoJo fans because we immediately hunted down a couple of those discs that were hidden around the yes. venue, right? Yep. We found them frame one. I claim Jornos. I got Gappy. Yep. <laughs> I'll let you know what's on them soon enough. I, I, I've still yet to find a CD player. Yeah, I have so, one in my car, but I haven't been in my don't. car all weekend. <laughs> Mine doesn't. I'm too far in the future. Uh, <laughs> man, that, that cosplay looks incredible on Shabili, honestly. It does look really good. The U-Haul trailer <laughs> where he was pulling out. But now we're going to go ahead and throw it over to Jabali for our awards ceremony here. We'll see you guys in a second. All right, congratulations to JoJo's Top 8. Coming in at seventh place, Bombay! Also in seventh place, Sandula! In fifth place, Mad Pog! Also in fifth place, Barrel! In fourth place, Sykes a Million! Coming in at third, no thank you! In second place, Elon! And your CEO, Taku 2022, JoJo's champion, Max Seth! Let's give one more round of applause for the top eight! And before you guys go, obviously this game did just release, so I want to say thank you. This was a super hype top eight. I want to give a shout out to SJRC's Discord channel. They're going to be supporting this event online through Parsec. You guys are familiar with that with Tampa Never Sleeps, so pay attention to them. They're going to put out a tweet if you're interested in more JoJo's tournaments. Please follow them. They're passionate for the community. They're doing a great job, so keep supporting JoJo's. What did you guys think of my Jotaro outfit? 
Shout outs to Anne for putting together my daughter, Jolene. Thank you guys. You're all set. Thank you. We'll take care of all the prizes with you. All right, we're gonna finish, wait for Blaze Blue to finish up. Then we're gonna take a little break. Then I'm gonna make a DNF dual announcement. And then Strive Top 24 will be here while DNF Dual Top 8 will be there. So trust me, stick around. 